Relocation of Sha Tin Shui treatment works to caverns is a pioneering project for the future cavern developments in Hong Kong. The project is to relocate the servicing Sha Tin Shui treatment works to cavern complex to release the coastal land for other development. The future complex will be located inside Lui Po Shan. Despite the very high complexity and long duration of our scope, this project is the beating ground for the new ideas. Bearing the role of a pioneer, the project team sees every opportunity to experiment with many market-leading construction methodology to enhance efficiency in project delivery. My team actively leads the digital transformations and incorporate innovative technologies into our routine construction works to streamline the transitional workflow. To achieve this, the extension adoption of building information modeling is the key. We use VIM 360 door Daleks VIM integrated database system between multidisciplinary projects, stakeholders to run a smooth workflow. The effective cooperation, paperless office, most update joins, it forms a positive cycle between the IM team and engineering team for mutual assistance. We keep training and encouraging our team members to understand, accept and use BIM, especially CDE and other cloud platforms from the beginning of project. Now it's a common thing to find BIM in our workflow. We use CDE to update progress information, submit as build join data and request for information. We intend to promote more powerful CDE solutions like Autodesk Construction Cloud. We further improve the BIM popularity. We use 3D printing technology and HoloLens too. A pair of mixed reality smart glasses to help the site team to visualize complicated structures and ideas. We also self-developed a project-specific digital work supervision system with BIM compatibility and an automatic robotic system for tunnel safety inspection after blasting. The key performance indicator include cost, cost saved from resolving crash analysis in the early stage, BIM participation, the cooperation of staff using BIM like CDE to improve their cooperation. Well, the most challenging part is definitely the availability of beam resources. I recall during the kickstart of the project, there are limiting compatible beam experts understanding the framework for ISO 19650, not to mention the extensive application of beam amongst the team. We did pay tremendous effort to rectify the situation. For example, regular training has been arranged for different levels of site staff in order to lift up their competency in beam. I also allocate extra resources in beam adoption to promote beam use and integration. After years of hard work, I'm proud to say my team has transformed to be innovative and more importantly, BIM has become a common language nowadays. <music>